and we're back. Only rare individuals have the potential to become mages, and many of those with the potential are doomed to madness, unless the individual in question, also known as a source, learns to control their power quickly. He or she may end up a half insane slobbering oracle. That is why schools of sorcery were created, where talented children study for many years, acquiring knowledge and mastering magical skills. Because of their power, mages age more slowly than ordinary people. They can extract magical energy from the four elements, transport themselves long distances and heal, as well as kill in the blink of an eye. They have extensive scientific and political knowledge. In the latter respect, many mages are equal to rulers. Medicine. For centuries, diseases have plagued mankind, yet when Jan Becker subjected the power to his will, people gained a powerful weapon in the fight against disease. Mages study bacteria and viruses the way germs spread, as well as genetics. Shouldn't there be like an Oxford comma somewhere there? Maybe. Uh, their research is used by medics who set up hospitals and produce increasingly effective medicines. There are also magical potions capable of healing wounds and internal injuries. Many magic users, such as Marty Sodengren or Vicenna, have become healers, traveling the world and using their magic for the good of others. Witchers, due to their otherness, unusual abilities, and magic skills, witcher, witches are treated as outcasts and sometimes even met with hatred. This hatred was made manifest during the infamous attack on Kaer Morin, which led to the destruction of the fortress and the death of the most of the witchers wintering. Oh, this was the previous one. Those who survived are doomed to extinction, extinction since they no longer train successors. People need witchers, but are simultaneously afraid of them. The itinerant warriors inspire fear because they are mutants and have superhuman powers. A witcher is rarely a welcome guest, and contact with members of this profession are almost always limited to business. Witches are invariably attacked during pogroms and social upheaval directed against those who deal with magic. I don't need to read those. We'll read those later. Are rare, they come. Ace knowledge. Wow, okay. Sensitive to steel, very sensitive to loud sound. Cool. Huh. Okay, what's uh Hey Mercenary? We wait help from the Order of the Flaming Rose. Ooh, I got new talents. Yeah. Whoa, I have six? That's a lot. Um, yeah, those don't seem that great. That seems okay. That might be okay. Which one's Vitality again? Vitality is my life, right? And Stamina is my uh, magic. I don't, I don't know what that means. What am I fist fighting? Uh, that seems kind of cool. I feel like that's better. Damn, my nose is itchy. Uh, see, that seems okay too. Wait, what? Requires consumption of a mutagen. Oh, so have I not been drinking mutagen? I've just been drinking toxic potions? Eh. See, I don't know what that means. Which one of these is endurance? Huh. Works only during moon rises. Ooh. That seems important. Ah. 
But also surviving seems important too. Let's just... What's this one? Yeah, I like that. Um... Can I also brew potions? So I'm missing vitriol. No, I have vitriol. Then I'm missing... What am I missing? Rebus? I don't, I don't understand this. All right, whatever. Army life's tough. Be alert. All right. Vizima's gates are closed. All right. So that's my endurance. This is this is not working right. This is clearly okay. Vitality, yeah. All right. We await help from the Order of the Flaming Rose. I mean, can I just steal? Is this considered stealing or no? I guess not. Hmm. A notice board. Maybe I can find some witch's work. Left click on a notice board and drag any available notices to your inventory. Right click on the notice icon. Sure. Boop. I'm just gonna transfer all. Brave men urgently needed. Whoever brings me ten Bargus skulls will only have a hundred orans. Is that? Is that a Bargas skull? What happened to the four Bargas skulls I had? Okay, cool. Alright, that does. The Drowner Contract. The Church of the Eternal Fire seeks in cap individuals capable of dealing with the Drowners at the riverbank. Payment is contingent upon proof of killing three of the beasts. Bring their brains. The Drowner Entry and the Bisterity. Okay. I need the blood of at least three ghouls. We'll pay handsomely. Jeez. Uh, I hope that doesn't... Is this, is this as much room as I have? I need to sell some of this crap. Okay, was there nothing else? I thought there was another one. Huh, I th thought I saw another one. But it isn't here, so... Oh, there it is. Ah, okay. Hereby declare that men are professors guilty of numerous crimes against the crown, including but unlimited to murder, assault, the flanks, and the guards and officials, and other wrongs against the kingdom subject. Whosoever provides him shelter will be deemed guilty of aiding and abetting him in his crimes. It is thus the duty of each subject of the crown to assist the effort to seize the man. A reward of a thousand bucks is hereby offered to anyone who assists in bringing this man to justice. Cool. You're a city guard, right? One never knows when the beast will appear. I may have heard of your brotherhood. I may have heard of your brotherhood. You're super suspicious, mate. One never knows when the beast will appear. I shall pray at the Temple of Eternal Fire. <laughs> Give me that chicken sandwich. Greetings. Hello. Greetings. What a despicable place. 
I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. That's Why is terrible. that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness. Nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. So I guess we then. just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off, but the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? Uh. Ooh. What's with this plague? You're a merchant. What of it? Tis some variety of the bubonic. To be safe, I avoid any who appear even slightly ill. Aren't you afraid? I'm immune to infectious diseases. <laughs> My grandfather claimed the same, insisting all the while that his bubonic ulcers were merely boils. May the ground lie lightly upon him. Yes? <laughs> Tell me about the beast. I overheard it described as a phantom, appearing from nowhere, murdering those with a heavy conscience. Interesting. <laughs> Royal officials would make a true feast for the beast, and other ghosts serve it, apparently in the form of untiring bloodhounds. Mm. I'll have to ask the locals. Yes? Any bandits in the outskirts? Indeed. They call themselves the militia and extort bribes. Also, some sect from Vizima may have arrived here. Do these men wear the salamander sign? Never met them. But if they are a sect, the Reverend ought to know something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll ask Go him. talk to the yes. Reverend. Uh, no. You want my bread? You want my blueberries? Chicken sandwich, gutted fish. Holy crap, everything's so expensive. I don't know if I should be keeping these chicken sandwiches or not. Oh, I can just drop items, eh? Terrible oh. times. Cool. I should hurry. Ooh, unknown herb. Where are they? Are they outside? Oh, okay, they're outside. Holy crap, there's so Army many. Monsters abound in the crypt. What are you doing? I shall pray at the temple of eternal fire. The eternal fire. fire protects no sinners. Repent. I guess you're not guards. Holy crap, look at all those herbs. Alright, I might have to turn that on toggle. We'll see. I didn't even talk to the innkeeper. Ooh. All right, we found the storage. Fat Fred, ah, here we go. That's why fist fighting was a thing. Honeycomb, goat's milk, ooh, cool. Sax dwarf cock. <laughs> Wanna fight? Got any money? Farewell. All right, let's. What? All right. Okay. So how do I do this? No pain, no gain. We'll see. A yellow base indicates a character you can fist fight. Left click to attack them. Right click and hold the block. Okay. No challengers. I'll smash your face. Oh, I'm itching to slap somebody. Am I hurting him? I don't. Chicky. I'm itching 
so it's summer. Right in your face. Oh shit. I did it. I punched his life out. I looks like I punched his head off. Really, Geralt, you're gonna you're gonna show off after beating off the person who's named Wimpy Fist Fighter. Lost again. Shoulda known. Here's your gold. So what did I get for that? Interesting. Oh, okay, well that explains why that does. Now those talents make sense. Greetings, handsome. Whoa. You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? What the heck happened By there? Chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Uh, yeah. Nothing now, but... Nothing now. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Not lightly. I'm a decent girl. Exactly. I'm at work now. That is the correct answer. What? Uh... You mean to say you stop being decent after work? That's a kind of creepy thing How to dare say. You? What a bore. That makes sense. Go play yourself, pervert. <laughs> I bet you could probably seduce her, but not anymore. A boy named Alvin managed to escape from the barge attack which cost his foster mother her life. As a result of the shock, he started to divine the future. Sure, none of the prophecy. He's a source, magical powers, Belengar. Mentioned a witcher who left Kaer Morin before my ravel. Eskel, the calm and reasonable witcher from Kaer Morin, is my peer. Wonder how he got the disfiguring scar. Lambert, the young witcher I met at Carmadam, sure has a biting tongue. He's rude, especially to Triss Marigold, who he addresses by her last name. Leo is the youngest of the Caramon residents. He's not a full witcher, though he has completed his training. He was not subjected to mutation. Leo comes across as a hot-headed whelp, but is also kind-hearted and good. It appears that Leo is somewhat fascinated with me. He has heard the ballads about the White Wolf and now holds me in high regard. Leo was killed by the Professor, one of the leaders of the assault of Caramadin. The boy was too hasty and inexperienced. I wasn't able to help him, even though I was right beside him. Mysterious mage. The mage attacked Kermadan in order to steal the witch's secret hidden in the fortress. One of the leaders of the forces that attacked Kermadan was a mage so powerful that even Triss Marigold was going to oppose him. The organization that he led used the symbol of the Salamander. Professor, one of the leaders of the Salamander attacking Kermadan was a man called the Salamander, who seemed to be a cunning assassin. The other leader was a mage. It turned out the assault on Kermadan was not the professor's first foul deed. The arrest warrant showed clearly that my opponent is a wanted man. Shani. Soon after I arrived in the outskirts, I met Shani, an acquaintance from a long time ago, in quite dramatic circumstances. Shani is completely devoted to medicine, her passion, and she had plenty to do with the outskirts, so there was no time for small talk. I got the impression that this sensible, intelligent girl likes me a lot. Something about redheads? Triss Marigold, holy shit. Along with me and the other witchers, Triss fought in defense of Kermadan. The sorceress stood against the mysterious mage, one of the leaders of the assault. She was injured and lost consciousness. Ironically, Triss is allergic to magic, and she can only be administrated natural healing potions. Triss Marigold is my friend. She saw me die, and my return to the world of living surprised her. Triss is a sorceress, one of the most influential and talented of her kind. She has numerous powerful friends and is and she knows the Kermadan witchers. Moran, she is one of the few people who know the way to the fortress. I have a feeling Triss likes me a lot. After Leo's funeral, the sorceress teleported to Vazimir. She decided to use her extensive contacts to search for information on Salamandra. Triss promised to find me as soon as I arrive in Vizim. Vazimir. Vazimir is the oldest, most experienced witcher, possibly older than Kermadan himself. He spends each winter in the fortress and sets off on the road when spring comes. Just like all the others, despite his age. Uh, Vesemir is robust and lively. Many youngsters could envy him. His health. Could envy his health. An excellent fencer, he was the one who taught me swordsmanship. He has raised many witchers, including me. His, dis his disciples treat him like a father. Leo was probably the old witcher's last protege. The boy's death shocked him. 
He was one of the few who survived the assault on Kerman. He is well aware of the magnitude of the hated people, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Alright, so I messed it up with Vanessa Hood. Sorry, Vanessa. But, like, I don't even know why um, I have the option to hit on people uh, at work. That's just not something you should do. But it doesn't seem like that's the kind of thing Geralt would do. No offense, Geralt. So where's your storage? Do I have to just talk to the... Hmm. Three ounces of optimum martyr. A drop of mercury solution. Uh, oh, sorry. I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? I don't think you could afford it. You orange. would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. women though, based maybe you on can agree to a post-mortem then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? I'll come back when I've gathered some. I need that blood for my studies. Be quick about it. But no, get back. Get back here. What? You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, Oxenford. and geomancers in Oxenfort. <laughs> Wonderful city, which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Don't hmm. be horrible, Science Rolt. is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully, he will send me a pass. Mm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me. They must. No, no, they don't. Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. That explains it. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Need any help from a witcher? Cool blood. I do. Check the notice I hung outside. Oh, you're way ahead of me, Drain. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Huh. Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? Yeah, I think I'm going to do all the side quests too. Like, chapter four is the... There's like five chapters, so... 
How do you obtain alchemical bases? Plus, I'm reading all the You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. That is good to know. I will make sure to delete my old saves as I get new ones. Because apparently Drain is telling me you shouldn't have more than 20 because the game just breaks. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and oh, difficult geez, to acquire. So file. I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. I, I think what you mean is look up the recipes on the internet. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun. Oh, well. I guess we're done here. All right, I'm assuming I can't, I can't talk over the bar. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. Oh, shit. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? Hmm. I'm a witcher. <laughs> he knows that. Ah, by the eternal fire. That's why said you have any work for me? Hey, chicken. No. Ask the reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? Well, I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I'd talk to a bar guest all day. Uh... Sure. Sure. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the Eternal Fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, that's a good point, Drain. Doesn't talk to strangers. Bribed for five dollars. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah. I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? Uh, Got a room? Yes. For you, five orans. Do we really need a room? Yeah, I don't... I'll pass. So that's just to sleep, okay. Now I'm just gonna put away the crap. Come on. Because apparently I just have storage everywhere. Yeah, I've already read this. I've already read that, I've already read that. What else can I put away? I don't know if I should use my whetstones. 
I think, yeah, for, as far as I can tell, renting a room is the same as just standing in front of a fire. So I'm not sure why I would do that. if I should keep this shit. Like, I don't know if I should keep all this food or sell it. Yeah. Yeah, this is the storage. So I guess, I don't know, I'll just put whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know if food's important. So far, I've just been grabbing everything, but I feel like... And I don't know if I should be using these grindstones. I feel like I should save them for stronger weapons. Not practical in combat. Alright. That is good to know. I'll keep all those. Keep that. Keep... I'll keep a stack of flint just in case I need it. Alright, well then I'll just keep the food in my train is teaching me the ropes. That formula needs rethinking. Nope, already talked to you. Mikul the guard buys hunting trophies. Interesting. I used to clean the sewers in Vizima. Those were the days. Oh, the buffs are temper. That makes sense. That makes more want. sense. Always give strangers such a warm welcome. I'll just save it for like a hard time. The beast will have us all. I'm glad we talked. Let's celebrate. I gain new left click drink and dialogues to choose a beverage. Ah, well, I guess that's what alcohol's for. Uh, how do I cancel? We're getting angry. Oh, I figured out what alcohol is for. Did you want to ask me something? All right, I guess we've talked we'll speak all later. that about. You saved me, right? What is with I this helped. camera angle? I wonder what will happen to me now. Waiting for your kin to come? No, my family has passed on. Sorry, kid. It's all right. I barely knew them. Uh, this is a fake break, don't worry about this. 